What I'm going to do is start by quilting that same basic feather. Once you finish the feather, then you're just going to swing right on out and start your echoing. Now I know it can be a little tricky to echo, especially if you're working on a home sewing machine. So what I would suggest is to just try to look ahead of where you're going next. Not so much where you are right now, but where you want to be. So I'm just going to swing out a little bit, and then I'm looking ahead of the needle, and then just relaxing and going for it. Now I'm just going to continue along the outside and down the other side. And if you wanted to, you could tuck them in a little bit more or you can leave it evenly spaced, whatever you'd like. All right, so let's see what we've got. Okay, as you can see here, we have the feather with the echoing around it. But I want to point out a few things. First of all, it's not perfect. If you look right here, you can see where my echoing isn't necessarily consistent, but that's okay. Now I'm using contrasting thread so that you can really see what I'm doing, but I would suggest using matching thread and then you won't even be able to see the little mistakes. Also, as you're working your way around the quilt, if you feel like you need to stop and reposition your hands, again, you could do that when you're at one of these points, when you're stopped and you can change your hands and then switch direction. 